welcome to Believers. Thanks for tuning in for another Sunday. My name is Taylor and I'm going to be taking you on a little tour today. We're doing things a little differently this week than our normal services. Uh, we're going to show you the town that we call home. We're going to show you the building that we rent and we're going to hear from some of our parishioners. Hopefully you get a little feeling of what it's like to be where we call home and you can understand where we're coming from a little bit when you watch our videos, especially those of you not from this area. Thanks for tuning in. Sit back, relax, as we take you on a tour.
Yeah, the thing I uh, enjoy about Believers is just uh, the freedom that we have here, the freedom that you feel, the peace. Uh, I really believe the Lord has us here for a reason. And uh, whether we uh, stay as a somewhat of a small group or we go into a mega church or whatever, uh, that is up to the Lord. But uh, I know the Lord is here with us. Uh, we are a small group that uh, just love one another and uh, share and praise uh, the Lord. And um, I am just excited to be here. And uh, I know the Lord is with us. And uh, I enjoy it. So, uh, God bless. First of all, I'd like to explain to everyone how we got here. It was an absolute miracle of the Lord that set us in this place. He provided everything for us. The room, the music, we had a beautiful piano player, music director. We've got a coffee shop. We've got, we've got everything and it's been a, being with Mark again after 40 years of uh, being around him, it's been a blessing just being around Mark and having him teach us because he has a definite connection to the Lord. And I thank you for all of the people that are in, uh, involved in our church. My my fellow usher, <laughs> my, my, my my head usher here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe being the he's our boss, a boss usher. And then Taylor, thank you for all that you do for this church. I I I wanted to thank you today, and I forgot to do that. But I thank you for everything you've done. You're such a an integral part of this church. Amen. And I, I hope everybody gets a chance to experience this for themselves. I'd like to see a lot of people come here or just show up and have a one-shot deal. Just take a chance and come and see us. And I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. We're here to worship the Lord, and that's what we do. And we would share it with you in his heartbeat. My experience at Believers since we've been here is... Um, a place where people really do care and really are interested in you. You're not just another face or not a number to add. Um, you are you are amidst people that really do care about you and what's going on in your life. And the praise and worship is awesome. Um, our goal here is just to give honor to the Lord and not for anything he has or hasn't done, but for who he is. And um, it's just been a blessing to me and just to feel the unity and the, the friendships and um, support of one another at Believers. Hi, my name is Ron Fox. I'm here at Believers Church at Ursuline. Uh, I play guitar and sing in the music ministry. Um, just been absolutely loving it. Um, we've been about six, about six months now, uh, and, it, and it just it feels really good. Um, we're kind of uh, a group of uh, we've all we've all been involved in, in churches many 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 times before. Uh, we're all kind of a ragtag group. Um, I, I I I appreciate Taylor your your analogy today of a box of puzzle pieces and you're not sure how they're going to all fit together but I mean what a, what a great analogy from you today mm -hmm. um, and if we kind of just stick with it and, and work together we're going we're gonna to find out what that picture is going to make someday so uh, uh, we absolutely love we've got plenty of room for new people uh, we'd love to have you come and see us um, and, and, and just see what you think Hi, I'm Deanna. I'm here at the Ursuline Center for Believers. We would love to have you come and join us. This is a great place to have church, a great place to uh, see the city of Great Falls and know some of our history. And we would welcome you to come and visit us. Hello there, Pastor Mark Haynes, coming to you from my spring home, uh, <laughs> uh, which just happens to be the same as my summer home and my fall home and my winter home and it's it's where I live with my son Taylor who also produces these videos and we are projecting this uh, video to you because we took 
a week and had in our fellowship a time of praise and sharing of people, marvelous things of what God's doing in their life. And as a result of that, we needed to uh, alter our normal programming. And so we brought you uh, the pictures that Taylor has just shown you of, of the mighty, marvelous, big city of Great Falls, Montana. And I appreciate the effort that uh, Taylor put into going out and filming uh, these pictures. Great Falls is a part of his life. He's lived here all, almost all his life. I first arrived, believe it or not, in 1958 and have had uh, lived here off and on many, many, many years. And uh, I was thinking before we went on air here that I started out in the Pentecostal Church of God as a child, went to Central Assembly of God, uh, grew, went through high school there, and then uh, went off to seminary, came back, pastored, uh, assistant pastor of the West Side Assembly of God Church for a while, and then uh, went to the Ursuline Center, 1979, started a kind of a young adult program uh, at, at the Ursuline Center in 1979 called Beloved. From there went to Calvary Temple, as a pastor, and uh, we changed that to Calvary Community Church, which now is Victory uh, Center, Christian Center, whatever. And so, uh, went from there to a little church called Hilltop Family Fellowship, North Kiwanis, and then out to Belt, back from Belt here to Great Falls, back to the Ursuline Center, and now, as you know, we are believers, so we have just been going in circles but that's the way life is, and we're just happy and excited to uh, continue the latest uh, direction that God has for us. Video is a very important part of that. We, we don't have the largest church. I know that uh, on some uh, Taylor showed you some of the interviews of some of our people. And they keep talk, <laughs> keep talking about our small church. Well. Uh, the Lord had a small church. Basically, he had a small church unless he had a potluck. When he had just his own people, he had like 12 or 13. When they would announce a potluck, why, well, there would be five to 7,000 people show up. Not too different than what it is in today's churches. So we are um, we're just desiring God to show us, to lead us uh, here back in Great, Great Falls. Uh, we know... Uh, based on our experience uh, that uh, there's several ways to grow a church. Our desire is to grow our fellowship a biblical way. I know when I went to uh, Calvary Temple back in 1980, I didn't do anything. I just came to church and the, the church went from, from 40, 50 people to many hundred, several hundred people. I remember in 1985, my theme in my mind was a thousand alive in, in 85. That's what I was aiming for. All it seemed like all we had to do is show up and people came. Well, seasons come and seasons go. The actual truth as I see it now, you be and do what God leads you to do. You some water, some sow the seed, some water the seed. God gives the increase and we look for that increase, but we don't want to we don't want to do it in the flesh. And we don't, the strain of, of, of doing that is too much for me uh, to go through and anybody on, uh, in our fellowship or on our staff. Uh, church growth is different than, uh, church growth is different than just simply swapping people from one fellowship to the next fellowship to the next fellowship. And that's really, in, in, in most areas in America, that's really most of church growth has to do with having something bigger and better so that people will leave one fellowship and come to what you have. Well, at Believers uh, in Great Falls now, we, we <laughs> our idea of, of a smoke machine, we have a little diffuser that we work, we, we don't have a light show, uh, we don't have, uh, uh, we don't really have a stage, this is the age of the stage, we know that, where everybody darkens the, darkens the light and puts on a production. Uh, really, I'm sorry to say that our, we just have the presence of the Lord. And uh, really, uh, maybe that's by His design that we go back to the basics. Having His presence, His scripture, His word shared, and building upon that. Our little scripture that we do 
rest upon is unless the Lord builds a house, they that labor, labor in, in vain. Well, I've done a, a, a few things in the ministry that when I'm all done, I feel like I have been laboring in vain. Uh, I want to be happy. I want to be joyful. I want, no matter whether there's a handful of people or many people, I want to know deep in my heart that God is blessing His Word, blessing our effort, and be at peace. And that's how I feel here at, at Believers, uh, with my family helping me out, and uh, the, our, our friends who have been with us a long time uh, assisting us. We're looking forward to the rest of 2021, looking forward to all the restrictions being taken off, and we're looking forward to having our masks be put away in the drawer. I hope that happens. In any regard, thanks for watching our programs. Uh, we ask you, we, we reach really all around the nation. Uh, it's just the, the miracle of the internet. We reach from Michigan to, to Texas to Seattle and all over the state of Montana and throughout Great Falls. I think uh, last uh, couple of times ago, I think we had like almost 200 views here locally. Uh, we're excited about that because we are we believe in what we're saying we believe that it's the good news of Jesus Christ we're happy that people are listening to it and uh, so if those of you watching on, on, on whatever you're watching on your little device or your big TV or whatever uh, we encourage you if the Lord speaks to your heart to contribute to us to help us meet the needs of our ministry which just like every other ministry we have needs if he speaks to you then we are excited about that we're excited about whether he speaks to you or not but we will receive your financial gifts at 904 avenue d as in dollars northwest 904 avenue d northwest 59404 send those contributions to believers and uh, we are not a savings institution, of course, being a new fellowship. Everything we have to buy, we, everything we have, we have to buy new. So we're not saving our money up. We are investing it just about as soon as we get it. And we pray that the Lord financially blesses us. Uh, not for salary, not for, not for summer homes, not for uh, phony con uh, conventions in Hawaii, nothing. We just have many needs here locally in what we do. We ask you, if the Lord speaks to your heart, please contribute, and we will we will be uh, very the best stewards of your finances that you've given to the purposes of the Lord that we can be. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, very excited about believers. Very excited about a chance to to come into your house. I just cannot quite get over this world of the internet of of, of how we reach not only locally but around the world with just a push of the button and I know that uh, that a lot of not so good things happen on the internet but God's not outfoxed he's never outfoxed he knows what he's doing he's using this same internet to reach around the world with the simple message that Jesus truly is the way the truth the life no other no other name there is no other name given among men by which you must be saved. No other way. And we're just, a, we're just thankful to the Lord that He has put His touch in our heart that we can live not only abundantly but eternally. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And uh, if you are without a fellowship uh, in Great Falls or you feel like commuting a long ways from Texas, it's uh, Central Avenue, 23rd Street, Central Avenue on the west side. You're going to see a couple flags out in the lawn. It says Believers. That's our way of saying come on in. And we'll be looking for that uh, should the Lord lead you our way. Thanks and goodbye. Next week we have Trevor Bolton joining us on camera. And the following week we have Dan Hickman, Pastor Dan Hickman. Uh, where's he from, Pastor Mark? Yeah, Bozeman. Bozeman. Pastor Dan Hickman from Bozeman will be joining us after that. Also, we have the world-famous Johnson Brothers coming May 23rd. Uh, the video, of course, will be the next week after that. But that's one of those things that you really should join us in person for. Camera loses a lot to a performance like that.
It's also come to my attention as your video producer and the guy who runs the social media that many of you have not subscribed yet and not followed. We get a lot of views from people who watch the video but then never watch another video after that. It may not seem like it's a lot, but a simple like, a simple follow or subscription, depending on whether you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, really helps this channel grow and it helps your friends see our videos as well. So any, any help you can do getting our message out to the world, we appreciate. Finally, we've partnered up with PayPal to facilitate online giving. You'll find the link in either the description, if you're on YouTube, or in the comment section of Facebook. That link will give you a secure connection for your tithes, offerings, or financial contributions. See you soon at the Earthstone Center, 23rd and Central Avenue, the west side of the Earthstone Center. Little flags out there pointing the way. We look forward to seeing, seeing you. God bless you.